Have you been thinking about moving to Texas? Well, there's some things that you should know before making the move. Hey y'all, Angie Ufamata here, realtor in the beautiful Austin area. We're going to be talking about 10 things that you need to know before moving to the Lone Star State. start with the creepiest ones. Bugs. Creepy crawlers, things that slither, and four-legged animals. Are they a thing in Texas? 100%. And I just recently learned that there are over 50,000 types of insects that live here in the Lone Star State. So if you're not into nature in that way, uh, you should definitely be aware that you're going to encounter uh, some sort of bug in Texas at any given moment, at any given time. So I just wanted to put that on your radar. We have spiders, cicadas, mosquitoes, which are the most annoying bloodsuckers you will ever encounter. No, seriously, they are really bad uh, in central Texas, at least, and I'm sure like all over Texas. Yes, and I know you're wondering, Angie, are there snakes? Yes, are there rattlesnakes? Absolutely. Are there rat snakes? Uh-huh. There's all kinds of snakes here <laughs> um, as well. Um, some are venomous, some are non-venomous. So just be careful when you're gardening or when you're hiking that, yes, they live among us. Along with the creepy, slithery things and things that fly, there are four-legged animals that you'll encounter. For instance, possums and raccoons. Now, I've got a story about uh, possums. I can tell you that they were not harmful to us, but we did find one in our garbage can and he refused. I mean, the conviction on this possum, he refused to get out of the trash can. So we had to call the city so that they could, uh, the possum could be removed safely. In our neighborhood, we have seen a roaming coyote, um, which is, I don't know if it's unusual or not, but it was found on somebody's ring doorbell right here in my own community. So we are still one with nature. Texas is a big state and uh, they live here as well. <laughs> so be prepared. On to the weather. In general, you can find all types of climate in Texas actually, because there's different regions and each region is very different from another, um, from climate to geography, which I'll get into a little bit later, but um, you can find snow in North Texas, you can find desert in West Texas, and a little bit in between in the middle of Texas itself. In terms of bad weather, we do get tornadoes here, which is uh, some of the concerns that my clients even ask me about. About 132 per year that hit Texas, and they're mainly focused in the North Texas area, the Panhandle, as well as the Gulf. Next up, I know you're not gonna like me, Texans. Come on, bear with me. But we are not very good drivers. Yeah, like for real, we're really not. Uh, Texas in general has been reported as having the third worst drivers in the nation. I mean, that's pretty awful. We leave our blinkers on. Uh, we don't use our blinkers. We won't run red lights. I mean, the whole nine yards. Speaking of driving, I got another one to add to the list. We love our trucks and our SUVs here in Texas. Everyone just move on over. We need them for adventure, we need them for hauling deer, off-roading, and even moving furniture. The bigger the truck, the better. The bigger the wheels, even better. Truck culture is a big deal here in Texas. Number five, food. We love our food. I love our food. <laughs> food is a really big deal uh, in Texas. It is a symbol of socialization and gathering, and we really love that. Um, we are also a melting pot of culinary deliciousness. No, seriously, we really are. And number one, which you probably already know, a barbecue is one of the tops of the tops here in Texas. We have some of the top pit masters in the world right here in Texas. We have been queuing since the 1800s and have perfected the art. Barbecue is so serious in Texas that there's even a barbecue class at Texas A&M University. And then there's Tex-Mex. You got your quesos, you've got your guacamole, and you can't forget the chips, which I love. Number six, H-E-B, which has a cult following, I tell you. You know it's one of my favorite retail grocers. It was named number two behind Amazon as the best grocery retailer in the nation. Just for comparison purposes, HEB was ahead of stores like Target and Costco. So you know, it must be good. 
You can get your fresh local produce along with video games. I said it, that's right. We've got ATV Plus, which has not just groceries, but it also has clothes and gaming stuff. They've got things for parties. I mean, really, this is an A++ grocery experience. Number seven, locals versus transplants. Is it a real thing? It is, unfortunately. But what I will say is that a lot of the time, I think us locals, local Texans, are pretty much protective over the culture of Texas. And it completely makes sense, our way of life. And so out of that protection comes the don't California my Texas. For the most part, I will tell you that many of us Texans are open and welcome to all newcomers. So don't worry too much about that. Then you've got your cowboys, cowgirl, boots, and tumbleweeds. <laughs> Most people think when I first moved to this area, you know, over 16 years ago, they, my friends thought I was moving to a place that had tumbleweeds just rolling down the street. That's only in some areas. <laughs> Uh, for the most part, we are in a metropolitan area where we have roads. We have to use uh, cars to get around because the state is massive. So you don't have to worry about that. But what you do need to get used to is our boots and our cowboy buckles. Okay, that's a real thing. We've got real cowboys and real cowgirls, cow people. <laughs> and ranch life is still a huge part of Texas living. And to keep from having a snake in your boot, get you some too. <laughs> There's a snake in my boot. Next up, we've got Texas Pride. Going back to the history, that runs so deep throughout Texas's veins, and it is strong. After all, Texas is the only state to be its own country at some point in time. We are big on tradition, big on generational living, and big on Texas. If you can handle all these, then watch my playlist on living in the Austin area. Next, let's talk about Texas culture, starting with its landscape. Texas has seven regions that are fully diverse in every way. We've got the Gulf Coast region off of the Gulf of Mexico that stretches 100 miles from the Mexican border to Louisiana. Cities that you'll find here are Houston, Galveston, South Padre Island, and Corpus Christi. People come to this region to fish, surf, bird watch, sail, and get into other water adventures. And let's not forget they come for city life entertainment, and global industry that's in Houston. Then you have the Piney Woods region in East Texas. It encompasses the easternmost part of Texas to the Gulf along the Louisiana border. This region has forest, pine trees, streams, and swamps. If you're a nature enthusiast, this might be the region for you. There is an abundance of plants and wildlife for you nature seekers. The major cities in this area are Texarkana, Taylor, and Nacogdoches, which is Texas's oldest town. You've got the Prairies and Lakes region that has cities like Dallas, Fort Worth, Bryant, College Station, and Waco. You can expect pastures, freshwater lakes, forests, along with nightlife, cuisine, antiquing, and corporate enterprise. Panhandle Plains is another region, and its major cities consist of Amarillo, Abilene, Lubbock, and Wichita Falls. In this region, there are canyons and flatlands. Farming and ranching is still a large industry in this area. Then there's Big Bend Country region. There are over 800,000 acres for Big Bend National Park, which is kind of incredible. Uh, it has canyons, it has amazing rock formations, and you guessed it, desert. Cities in this region include El Paso, Midland, Del Rio, and the famous Marfa, which has the iconic Prada Marfa storefront and Odessa. There's the Hill Country region, which includes cities like Austin, New Braunfels, Fredericksburg, and Wimberley. There are springs, rolling hills, and underground lakes. This region is not short on any fun, events, or festivals. And finally, the South Texas Plains region, which is known to be dry, but it also has grasslands, marshes, birds, and beaches. You got it, beaches. We go to Port Aransas uh, for staycations and really enjoy it there. And then you've got the people that's just as diverse as its landscape. We come from all backgrounds and we are proud of it. Our history is long, filled with trailblazing, struggle, resilience, triumph, and tradition. And most importantly, it's filled with amazing people. Overall, Texas has so many great options from rural living, urban dwelling, coastal oasis, to a frontier escape. And many would make a great place to call home. 
Hey, are you looking to move to Texas and you don't yet have a real estate professional? I'd love to be able to help you or direct you to an amazing agent who can help. Found this video helpful? Then hit that like button. And if you're feeling my vibe, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you don't miss a thing. And I'll see y'all on the next one.